Okay, so I know y'all have heard this story by now. Man married for 51 years, find out his kids are not his because his brother needs a kidney or something like that. And that's when they do a DNA test, well, do a blood test. Ben come find out, you know, that the blood didn't match the families. Well, all that good stuff. So, but anyway, that's why we say, ladies, y'all need to start telling the truth. Because when they find out, if they find out, when they find out, it could be detrimental to you and them kids. And y'all are some selfish ass bitches. Yes, I said it. You are some selfish ass bitches for not being real with your own damn kids. Now, that's a shame. You can't be real and honest with your own kids. Innocent kids who has nothing to do with what you're doing. I mean, don't don't deserve this. Well, they have something to do with it because you had them. But you get my point. <laughs> I get my words twisted. But you get my point. These are innocent kids that you brought into this world under false pretenses. So I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck if it is a... Uh, 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 women's International Month or whatever the hell y'all call this crap the month of month of March I don't give a fuck y'all are some selfish ass bitches to do this you can't even put yourself to the side and be real to your own kids the, the kid if y'all paid attention to his story the kids had two different dads Two boys, two different dads. And I don't blame this guy for being upset. He's hurt. His kids, his grandkids, and his great-grandkids are not his. He has no legacy. And the person who left a comment talking about you still them kids' father, no, he's not. That's not how it works. That's how y'all women want it to work, but that's not how it works. So you mean to tell me then if I can... I can go get another woman pregnant. She had a baby. I'm going to bring the child back home to you and tell you this is your child. You're going to look at me like I'm stupid. You're going to curse me out. You might have me arrested for this. <laughs> but that's straight nonsense, and y'all know it. Well, I'm going to say it again, and I don't care if I get kicked off social media for this. I'm hoping I get kicked off social media. Why? Because that just proves that you can't handle uh, uh, the truth. You are a selfish ass bitch if you do some shit like this. I don't care. I hope I get kicked off social media because that is just going to prove my point. This just proves my point. Women can do anything and get away with it. But as soon as a man do something and get away with it, I mean, excuse me, not get away with it. But as soon as a man try to do something, and even if he tries to go ahead and get away with it, Y'all will ridicule this dude forever. But if a man, oh my goodness, you know what? Let me stop. I'm going to go ahead and play the video. This is your boy, man, up. I'm trucking the deuce. I'll holler at y'all. I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons, 42 and 40. Them deadbeats. I'm still supporting the little boogers. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. Instead, they take after the plumber or the postman or the milkman. Or Yeah, they were milkmen back when they came around. I mean, God only knows. <laughs> it sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. And they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. But if I could figure out who they were, 
I've been practicing law, law long enough that I pretty well figure I can sue their ass and get all my money back that I sunk into those two dead meat. It just chaps my ass that she couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. You know how it is. Hell, yeah, boys. Y'all need to go get your own paternity test. You can't tell how, by looking who's the daddy. Unless you're looking down at the genetic level. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits. At four out of five times. Guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. And the genetic test are the only way to prove it for sure. These women are hopping everything that looks fun. You thought you like sex. <laughs> you ain't nothing. Well, I, I guess that pretty well completes that story. I'll go home. Start drafting up some divorce papers. See if I can't get free of that crazy bitch. I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children. And the grandchildren. And now the great-grandchildren. But they ain't no kin of mine. Fuck them. <laughs>